In the last video, we talked about relationships between places when the identical digits were right next to each other. In other words, if you look at this number, there's a 1 in the tens column and a 1 in the ones column. And we said that this one was 10 times bigger than this one. And as we explore this big number, here's the example. The first one is 10 times bigger than the second one, and it's true here too, because whether they're tens and ones or hundreds and thousands, they're still right next to each other, so they're 10 times bigger. Same thing for the thousands and the hundreds. I got a two here just to break things up a little bit. Um, and the, ten, the one million is 10 times bigger than 100,000, etc. So er, anytime you see two digits right next to each other, and they're identical digits, no matter what the digit, no matter what the number, the first digit is 10 times bigger than the second digit. And nothing changes when we go to the relationship like 100 times bigger. The 100, the 1 in the hundreds column is 100 times bigger than the 1 in the ones column. The 1 in the thousands column is 100 times bigger than the 1 in the tens column. Do you see that? Just remember, if the relationship here is 10, let's start with this one. If the relationship here is 10, then it's 10 times 10, or 10 times 10 is 100. That gives you the 100 times. So if you see two identical digits two places away, then they're 100 times different. Or bigger, better word. And if we do digits that are three places away, that would be 10 times 10 times 10, or 1,000. So, the 1 in the thousands column is a thousand times bigger than the 1 in the ones column, as is the 1 in the 10,000 compared to the tens, and the 1 in the 100,000 compared to the hundreds. See that? If they're 3 away, they're a thousand times bigger. 4 away would be 10,000, 5 away would be 100,000. It multiplies by 10 every single time. So I've taken away the place value chart, and here's the way you're most often going to see numbers and you're going to be asked questions about them. And if they were to ask you what is the relationship between the fives, as you can see, these two fives here, they are, the first one is ten times greater than the second. First one's ten times greater than the second, all the way through. Okay? If they're right next to each other, ten times. So if we take away the place value chart, nothing changes. It still works the same. And now you can see that this 5 is 100 times bigger, greater than this 5, right? The first 5 is 1,000 times greater than the second 5. Now the first 5 is 10,000 times greater than the second 5. And how do I figure out it's 10,000 times bigger? Well, again, every time we move one place over, it's multiplying by 10. So it's 10 times 10, which is 100, times 10, which is 1,000, times 10, which is 10,000, okay? So if you're looking at big numbers, and you're looking at identical, num identical digits inside those big numbers, in order to figure out how much greater the first one is than the second one, just start here and say to yourself, 10, 100, 1,000. You just kind of move up the place value chart. 10, 100, 1,000 times bigger. Let's try a few problems. Ready? So now you're being asked to name the value of the fives in 4,535. So just write them down, or if you're just playing at home, you could say them, right? The value of this one, the value of that one. Let's check your answer. This one is 500. This one is 5. What is the relationship between the values of the fives in the same number, 4,535? Last time I'm going to give you a hint. Start here, you go 10 times, and then 10 times 10 is 100. So you could say that 500 is 100 times greater than 5. You could say the first 5 is 100 times greater than the second 5. You could say the 5 in the hundreds place is 100 times greater than the 5 in the 1's place. All of those are good enough answers to show that you understand the relationship between those identical digits. What is the value of the 3's 
in 34,830. Look at where they are. What place are they in? Write them down or say them to yourself. Thirty thousand is one thousand times greater than thirty, right? Ten, one hundred, one thousand. Okay, first three thousand times greater than the second three. Those are all the answers you can do. All right. So no matter how you're looking at numbers, if you want to find out the relationship between identical digits in those numbers, start with the one that's in the smaller place, and just say ten, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million until you get to the same digit and that will show you how much bigger it is.